Sorry, I'm like trying to pull this up. Entertain my cat. He's decided he has the zoomies right at this moment. So welcome. Hello. We want to thank the Bit Curator Consortium and Bit Curator Forum Committee for giving us a platform to share our research with our community. We also want to thank our sponsors of our research project, the Creative Collab, which is myself and Kimberly, the 2023 Leading Fellows Program at Drexel University in conjunction with Temple University Libraries and the University of North Texas. Greetings. I'm going to read my bio in third person. Kimberly Maisha Dion Keaton is a creative entrepreneur, published author, art librarian, and archivist from Texas. During the day, she works as the Chief Artistic Officer of Novella Media LLC, a creative information company that houses Art Library Deco, a virtual African-American art library gallery and repository. Additionally, she is a top lady of Distinction Incorporated, a founding and lifetime member of Gamma Pi Beta Sorority Incorporated, and a member of the National Association of Colored Women's Clubs. She has been recognized as an African, I'm sorry, she has been recognized as an American Library Association Emerging Leader and a Library Journal 2020 Mover and Shaker. In her free time, Keaton blogs about her doctoral experience. Currently, she is enrolled as a doctoral candidate in the Information Science and Disciplinary PhD program at the University of North Texas. She began working on her doctoral journey in fall of 2020. Keaton's research interests are nested in African-American community archives, social equality, and Black galleries, libraries, archives, and museums. Beautiful. My name is Dana Rodkirk. I am a digital asset manager, writer, public speaker, and social, social justice activist. I worked as a data consultant and freelancer with a wide range of cultural heritage organizations, but also herbariums, climate scientists, uh, artists, politicians, activists, developers, and animators. I have over 10 years of experience working with and in Indigenous and Black communities on UI, UX design, decolonization, digital storytelling, and data engineering. And I forgot to click the slide because my cat. Um, but here's our faces in the Creative Collab. And this is just an intro of the project that we'll be going into. Oh, it scrolls. Okay, so we'll start with the poem. Our relations remember how we treat them. We waste away. Justice is a conscious choice. Cause I am still black C. Cause I am still indigenous C. Relational possibilities. As the seminal collaboration between the Creative Collab, Relational Possibilities is a digital community archive data science project that explores community relations and futurist realities of indigeneity and blackness through artists, writers, and public art in Philadelphia. Relational Possibilities pulls together original data sets, generative artificial intelligence imagery, which you see here, itch.io video games, a podcast, vignettes, and curatorial statements into two distinct interconnected virtual museums. Through a lens of community, vis visitors experience the shared history of African Americans in Philadelphia through seven Black visual and literary artists and the stories of climate racism, indigeneity, and climate change that public art and environmental histories tell. So what we're gonna do now is transition into two breakout rooms. Dana will be in one and I'll be in the other. Feel free to go between the rooms for the rest of the session. We're going to be playing our different video games and exploring our museums in each room. Q&A will also be in the individual rooms. So if you have questions about one project, be sure to be in the correct breakout room. Thank you. Also, if you would like to go to, um, or if you would like to um, share more feedback, there is a feedback button on the site. Um, and we would love to hear back from you with your suggestions, comments, feedback, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so the way this is set up is there are two different worlds and I will let Dana 
open up her world for you and then I'll share my world with you and then you get to choose which world that you go into. Sure, okay. Um, goodness, close all rooms. I had a room breakout thing pop up on my screen. Um, or they can just they can that. just divide it up and just send a certain amount of people in each room if that would be easier. So the mm -hmm. I just open the rooms and they're set so that anyone can join which of the two they wish. Okay. Did you name the rooms? Like, how do we know yep. which room to go to? They're named. I oh. named them based off the notes that I had. Okay. Okay. How do we get there? Um, you should be able to join rooms as well. If you open, and there should be a breakout rooms option um, as a host. And if you click on that, it brings up a screen and you should be able to scroll down past the list of unassigned folks and see the two rooms and click join on the one you want to join. Oh, you don't see that? I see it, Kimberly. It's like a pop-up. Did you get a pop-up on your screen? But do, where do I go? Do I just go to broadcast? Oh, I nope. think you have to scroll um, all the way down. Yeah, if there's... you scroll down, it's sort of buried under all the folks who haven't joined. Oh, okay, I yet. see it. Okay, cool beans. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Okay, just moving. I'm trying to join it. Okay, join. So I just wanted to clarify, everybody's going to join rooms and then they'll introduce the activities in each room. I don't know how I would possibly choose between one of these two rooms. They both sound like such great topics. Uh, Danielle and anybody else who might not uh, be able to see the rooms, if you click um, along the bottom, there you should see an icon that says breakout rooms. And if you click on it, it should bring the pop-up back up. And if you scroll down, the two rooms are at the bottom of the list. Roxanne and Sarah, did you need any help getting into rooms? I think I just figured it out. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> 